All right, welcome back, or welcome to Epic Tavern. It's a new patch for the holidays. I'm really excited. It's, uh, what is it called? Invasion of the Nether Queen. And uh, lots of patch notes available here. I'm not going to read them. I'm going to put links down in the description because there's three pages of detailed patch notes for everything that's been fixed or updated. And it is, it is an epic patch. And I'm really looking forward to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new tavern again. I'm not going to play the video, but I am going to, or the, the intro video, whatever you would call it, but I am going to go through the intro to show some of the new features because it's pretty cool. So what am I going to name the tavern? What do you think? Uh, I have to look around the microphone to type here, but um, there, toll is cramped in. No misspellings. Let's open it. And then we'll, uh, it jumps to the uh, intro video. And like I said, I'm going to skip this. After the epic music, long ago, the land of Bjor was nearly annihilated by a horde of netherkin invading through the flaming gate. Ten years ago. All right, one last toast to the Ravenger 4. You know, I hate that name, Merrick. You and Lycasia are the only Ravengers. It makes us sound like we're all. Huh? I didn't pick it, Blaze. People just started calling us that. You're getting senile in your old age. You've spent half a year trying to get that name to stick. Mm -hmm. Bottoms up, kids. If Ignatius is to be believed, the Flaming Gate won't hold much longer. And where's Thorgren? Mm -hmm. Why, he's in the facilities. The tavern facilities cater to the needs of its heroes and ensure they're ready to face the perils of adventuring. Uh, let's pull him out by hitting the X button. Thank you very much. You sure you don't need another hour or two in there, Thorgan? Hate to rush you. Mm. Bah, cut a doomed dwarf some slack. Of all your half-assed plans, this may be the worst. Huh? You have a better idea? Can't say that I do, but that doesn't make yours any less awful. Huh? Then we're agreed. My plan it is. Lycasia, do you have the letter indeed? Mm. Right here, Merrick. We are abandoning our huh? child. We're doing what has to be done. Besides, we've survived worse than this. Okay, not really. But if you die first, I'll raise you as a banshee or something. Mm. A banshee? At least make me a vampire. I would look amazing with fangs. Huh? Deal. All right, people, gear up. Huh? All right, this goes through the gear settings. Uh, Thorgren needs some gear. We just happen to have a verdant cleaver in the inventory, so we give it to him, and he's good to go. Mm. I'm going to miss this place. Pace yourself, dwarf. We aren't dead yet. Mm. I know, I know. I just... Huh? Enough of that talk. Like, hey, sure, are you ready? Mm. No, but that's not a, that's not apt to change. Let's go. Mm. Alright, here's the quest screen. We've seen these before. So here we go. Uh, this all looks the same. It's Catterday. So join, 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 join. 49% chance. And I think that's kind of optimistic. I don't think we have any chance at all. A Tale from the Past, Chapter 1, One Way Trip. The Last Ride of the Ravenger 4. This is a story of the legendary heroes who saved the land of Bjor. The results of their final ride will affect the story world and change the characters available in your tavern. Alright. Okay. With one final look back at their longtime haunt, Tola's cramped in, the Ravenger Force step onto the streets where screams of terror echo all around. The little hat is traveling. Lacacia scans the scene outside the tavern where packs of netherkin, their skin the color of ash, wreak havoc in all directions. We'll help who we can on the way, but reaching the gate is our priority, she says. So long as that's open, battles out here mean nothing. Mount up, we ride for the nethercaps. Roars of battle echo from ahead, and the heroes spot a dozen elite raven guards making a heroic defensive stand in an alley to buy time for a school's evacuation. Dead netherkin are piled waist high at the alley entranceway, but they continue to rush forward relentlessly. So here's the thing. You can roll everyone, or you can roll individually, and I'm going to roll individually. Potential 11, 63%. Uh, aggressive minus 50, balanced, defensive plus 100. Uh, I'm just gonna roll. Success, good. Roll, excellent, good. Lycasia, you failed. 
Merrick, you failed, but I think we succeeded. We had enough power to succeed. We did. We just barely had enough to succeed. Merrick reanimates the pile of stacked netherkin corpses and commands them to attack their brethren. The Raven Guard are able to regroup and, with the hero's help, surge to victory in what bards will call the Battle of Meat Grinder Alley. Character, Marley Nightfall unlocked. I'd rather have an item, but uh, that's fine. Uh, Marley Nightfall, inspired to become a better bard after asked for witnessing the Battle of Meat Grinder Alley, Marley will, will seek out your tavern. So we have to remember Marley. Don't have to remember, but uh, you should be a character. Screams echo from all around as the heroes ride through the carnage. Aiding where they can. Gods protect us, Thorgan mutter mutters. All right, another combat. In the bell tower of a nearby church, a priest and four villagers make their final stand. Another can scurry up to the side of the building after them. And others pour in through the shattered front door. Uh, I'm going to roll individually again. Come on. Fail. This is not looking good. Success. Good. Excellent. Good. We may have won. What do we need? 64 versus 28. We did win. All right. Blaze springs from her horse onto the wall, climbing effortlessly and yanking Netherkin off to keep them from reaching the tower. The heroes rescue the villagers and Father Eddington, who offers them a blessing to help the battle still ahead. Item Sanctified Breastplate Unlocked. That's what we're talking about. And we gain Blessed. Good. Uh, Blaze takes four hit points. I guess that's what that sound was. And we receive one Dire Yak Kebab. <laughs> All right. They just keep coming, Blaze says, hacking through the tentacled netherkin in an overrun village. Eyes on the gate, Merrick commands. The Royal Cavalry, with Bengar Skull Splitter at the helm, charge towards a nightmarish throng of netherkin. Now, he yells, and the cavalry breaks into two columns around the horde, hacking down creatures as they pass. The heroes rush to reinforce them. All right, come on. We need uh, 28. We got 16. Yeah, we got 52. Excellent. 19. Easy peasy. Big, bright, heroic lights. With the sweep of his ask, axe, let's start over again. With the sweep of his axe, Bengar sp splits a leaping wolfkin netherkin in two, but is knocked off his horse by the impact. The heroes fight their way to his side and together decimate the group of otherworldly invaders. My thanks, heroes, Bengar says, grunting as he slings his wounded leg over his saddle and leads his troops away. All right, so we unlocked the character Bengar Skull Splitter. Boring, great warrior, sure. I want items. Every second we spend down here fighting, more of those things are pouring out of the gate. Like Keisha says, keep moving. Seems like there should be music. A bloody bank guard impales a small ne a bloody bank guard impales a small netherkin on her spear then stomps another to death. Spotting the heroes, she bellows. Thank the gods, it's the Ravenger 4. There are more inside, come on. Thorgan starts to utter a protest, then sighs and rushes to catch up to the others. We need a 28. Big money. 11. 65, excellent. Okay, we got this easy. Lakeisha uses balanced, rolls 20 to 14 success. All right, since we have it, I'm going to do aggressive and see what we roll. We failed. Not going to use aggressive anymore. But um, the overall, we succeeded, though. The heroes help the guards clear out the bank with minimal casualties. Stay in the vault, like Keisha yells to the employees and customers, huddled safely behind bars. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Tavern gains bonus gold. All right, that's new. I did step through this intro before recording this version, and it is different every time, which is kind of cool. Um, so far, I haven't hit the battle that I hit the first time uh, through my sample playthrough. All right, let's go. Little hat's making its way. They're still pouring out of the tunnels, Blaze says, looking down the entrance to the Nethercap cave system from a rocky overhang. But I know another way. Watch your step. It's a bit um, tricky. All right. You cannot be serious, Thorgan says, looking at the narrow ledge with an 80-foot drop to the rocks below. Blaze chuckles. Trust me, when, when have I ever steered you wrong? 
That was rhetorical, she says, raising a finger to ward off the dwarf's long string of, of examples. All right, we're going to go back to balanced. I wonder what defensive does. We'll try defensive. You only have one potential? Yeah, 56 potential. Let's go. Roll. Excellent. 84 versus difficulty 26. Roll. 21. Does th I think this means we've gotten this. Okay, let's go defensive. Roll. Excellent. 159. Why wouldn't I go def Your potential's only one. Why, don't I why wouldn't I go defensive every time? Heroic! Bright lights. Blaze hands Thorgan one end of her rope and then dances across to the other side. Merrick and Lycasia follow. Thorgan ties the rope around his waist and the others drag him reluctantly across the ledge. Party receives 93 XP, but we don't get any swag. Alright, forge onward. I'm digging defensive. Outside the back entrance to the Nethercap cave system, Merrick addresses his companions. You've done enough by getting me here. If you want to leave now, I swear I will not hold it against you, Blaze chuckles. I sw right, let me do that again. I swear I will not hold it against you. Blaze chuckles. And let you get all the glory? Sorry, old man. We're in this together. And I still think there should be music here. The Ravenger 4 stepped through the cave entrance and immediately spot its guardian, a nightmarish spider-like netherkin scuttling towards them on eight human arms. The heroes ready their weapons and fan out around it. Okay, difficulty 28. Uh, we're going to roll balanced. There's 16. 52. Good. Versus difficulty. We're going to roll defensive. Excellent. I dig defensive. Excellent. Don't destroy the head. I want this one, Merrick says to Lycasia. She nods, takes a slow breath, and lets an arrow fly, killing the nightmarish creature instantly with a hit to the throat. With a wave of his hand, the necromancer reanimates the monstrosity and orders it to guard the tunnel behind him. Uh, everybody took hit point damage, 93 XP. With a bone-chilling howl, a large pack of mutant wolves enter from a side tunnel and take up the chase. A long, straight passageway opens into a large chamber ahead. The heroes make a run for it. All right. Should I just try to roll everyone? We only need 21. Let's roll everyone. All right. That, yeah, I, I do like rolling individually. Success. Stay left, Blaze yells as they run. Lots of bad news to the right. The heroes safely avoid the traps, and but the hounds aren't so fortunate. A gargantuan two-headed netherkin stands guard at an arched doorway on the far side of the chamber. A bright blue light flickers over the passage walls behind him. The flaming gate lies beyond, Thorgan says with a steely determination. We need 28. Roll balanced. There's 16. Roll, you failed. Defensive roll. You failed. Err, defensive roll. Excellent. And we got it with the last roll. Thorgan mutters a quiet prayer and his hammer takes on a faint blue glow. Get it down where I can reach it, he roars, and Lycasia opens fire on its legs. The wounded giant stumbles to his knees and Thorgan leaps forward, smashing one head and then the other. Last chance, Merrick says to his companions. I don't expect you to come back from this, Blaze shakes her head. I don't expect to come back from this, Blaze shakes her head. Too risky. Who's going to trigger that artifact if you suddenly drop dead of old age? The heroes embrace briefly and then step through the archway. Beyond the archway, the adventurers see an enormous gate rippling with nether energy. Before it stands the form of a young girl bathed in crackling blue flames. Lycasia laces up the enruined boots they received from artifact collector Ignatius Mordred. I hope these things work, she says. Impressive, the young girl speaks directly into their heads while idly playing with a ball of crackling blue energy. Join me and I'll let you live. Lycasia shakes her head and taps her heels of her boots together, emitting a low hum. Appreciate the invite, kid, but we had something else in mind. Difficulty 84. Success. Fail. Fail. Success. Ah, oh, we died. What a surprise. The child gestures and a rippling wave of blue energy envelops Merrick, seeping into him. The necromancer collapses to the ground, sobbing. Lacacia steps in front of him and slams one of her boots of quaking to the ground. A massive earthquake brings the mountain down on top of them. Merrick gained Elijah's nether curse. Well, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. They're all dead. A little earthquake shake. 
And so the Ravager 4 called the mountain down upon Elijah and Renetherkin Horde, ending the Battle of the Mountain Fall and once again sealing the Flaming Gate. Lacacia and Merrick Ravager, Thorgan Bloodborne and Blaze Evershadow, may the bards sing of their heroism unto eternity. Should I do the music? Do, 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 do. Here we go. Welcome back to the Ba. 1424 after Netherkin. A new tavern opens its doors today. This is the story of Tola's Cramped Inn. Monday, week one. Place looks a little different. Expand and improve the rundown tavern you've inherited from your parents. Protect the realms of Bjor by cultivating great heroes. Will do. Now we're back to the little tutorial here. This patron has info on a potentially lucrative quest. Click on him to find out more. Huh? You'll want to hear that. It's Cranston Grimm. Tell me more. All right. The tavern has unfinished basement, which could be converted into a wine cellar. It would require an extermination of ill-tempered rats that currently have the run of the place. But surely there's an adventurer or two who would be up to the task. Do we want to stop him? Or do we want to pick your poison? Stomp is uh, strength. God, why do I always forget? I always forget what they call it. This is mind. I think I'm going to go with uh, strength or fighting, whatever it's called. Might as well get in a bit of target practice before heading out on more dangerous quests. Kill the rats the old-fashioned way with an excessive display of violence. Alright, now that you have a quest, click on this heroic looking fellow and get to know him. Huh? It's Grunson Wolfspawn. Let's welcome him. You've made a new friend who is willing to adventure for you. Click him to see what he has to say. Huh? You need muscle, I need gold, let's do this. Hire this adventurer. So Grunson's always the first one you hire, regardless. Okay. And this is going to be Murgle, right? It's Murgle Flame Tongue. I seek those bearing a standard, a symbol, perhaps on a shield. Two snakes coming together, facing each other, but they're one. Welcome. Looks like she wants to talk about work. If you need someone incinerated, that's kind of my specialty. Let's hire you. Okay. Right, and we're going to do last call in today, so they're going to force us to do the first quest. Announce last call and go to the map. You betcha. All right, combat. Melee weapons. That's right. A well-rounded party can handle any challenge. See, I don't, you know. All right. Um, social. Mind. Yeah, can't remember this. It's not trapping. It's a trap, but it's not trapping. Survival and combat. All right, uh, join the party. We only got two of you. Let's go forth. Rats. So we're going to clear out some rats from the cellar. Kind of exciting to engage in something so stereotypical, Grunson says, rubbing his hands together. An angry chattering greets the intruders as the pack of rats rushes to attack. See, there's music in the background now. Uh, I'm going to roll individually. Success. All you need, to, all you need is one point, Grunson. Success. Yay. Our heroes are able to defeat a small pack of rodents in battle, which is literally the least that could be expected. I have lost this quest before. Another job well done, Grunson says as they approach Tolis Cramped Inn. I mean, relatively speaking. All right, success, as promised. Uh, we get zero gold for that. Um, looks like a new font. It's kind of a groovy font there. And uh, we uh, gained 25 reputation, 100 XP. Next day. I missed playing this game. This is, ranks up there as one of my favorite games. And, uh, yeah. I want to say I don't know why, but it's obviously because it's fun. Alright, uh, new day. What do we got? What's on here? Tola Crampton is, Tola's Crampton is in good shape. Nothing needs repair. All menu items are currently well stocked. Uh, adventurers are right here. This is kind of a whole new deal. Let's set the menu. Change what's on the menu. Um, 
We have mead. Uh oh. It looks like I can't do anything. Change what's on the menu. This can only be done before opening for the day. Hmm. I probably don't have anything except Artstown Porridge and Mead. Manage goods? Ah. Ah. Let's order some house wine. And I'm not, I'm good. I'm not going to order stale bread. Never putting it on the menu. Let's order some chicken wings. How much cash do I have? 878 gold. If this could just be scooted down just a little bit, but at least I can see it. Uh, no. The tavern gold is right here. I don't need to see it anymore. And sparkling fairy water for those that prefer the non-alcoholic beverages. And, uh... I always like to pre-order some mead because you can never have too much beer. And right, and so let's close. I can't put anything on the slot. I've got this stuff on order next time. Uh, let's open doors. Uh, business summary. Rooms booked, zero, under construction. Memory shared, zero, under construction. So we haven't had rooms since the very first version I played. Uh, right. Final profit, negative 22. Don't worry. It'll get better. Open doors. All right. Grunson is thirsty. Click on him to see what he wants to drink. Huh? Serve an item. Now we're ticking. Being a fire mage is thirsty work. Click on Murgle to see what she wants. You also want me to serve an item. We know how this works. And you want more... Ta-da! No requests nearby. Well done! Drink chain combos are a great way to boost your tavern's mood and reputation while earning extra tips. Try to create the longest chains possible to maximize your profit. Right. Oh. Okay. So we have new patrons and they all want something to drink. Who wants to be introduced? Uh, do I have any roster slots? Oh, I have level ups. Let me do that. Level up! Um, level up again. I see. Allocate all bonus skills, skill points to proceed. Uh, your fire magic is seven. Ooh, this is new. So, everybody loves fireball. Burning hands for those in close things. Shield, I would like to think, improves your defenses. Um, your mind... Pyrotechnics. And one point left. Oh, I'm going to put two into pyrotechnics. So that's going to end up with... Oh, look at this. Mergle's rank on the roster. Number one, number one tied in social. Number one in mind power. Survival power. Number two. I mean, we only have two people. Uh, 17 combat. Okay. And then, um, you, sir, Grunson. Huh? Right, I can just click on you. I don't have to go up to the roster. You want to level up. Let's do it. Uh, you are combat. And... Orc customs, meh. Mind. You're number two in combat. We can't have this. We can't have this. But you know what? Can I escape out of here? I don't think I can. So I've got to level up now. All right, you're in survival. We only have seven. Current roster profile is only seven. And you have seven. We already have 18 mine. I'm gonna bump up your survival. Let's bump up endurance by two. And maybe some resilience. And now you're number one in survival. And social, I'm gonna have to hire somebody else for social. We're just gonna have to avoid social, I think. Combat, you're number two. Swords and axes, I'm going to give you a point in there. Um, you're still number two. I'm digging the survival. We'll bump one more into survival. I, I really like this new interface because I can kind of get an idea of what we need. That is really cool. Okay. But now I do want to go to the roster because I want to see equipment. What kind of equipment do we have? We don't have anything. So basically, I unlock those weapons, which only means that they're going to appear in a quest. 
We have no weapon inventory, man. We need stuff. Alright, there's our total power. We have no armor. We have no inventory whatsoever. Right? Okay, fine. Fine. And uh, roster is currently two of two. And zero quests underway. Somebody's got to have a quest. So, do you guys want anything else? Nope. You? Nope. Alright, let's start this. Hey, man. How's it going? Mead. Uh, we can jump over the Mergle. <sighs> what are you letting me down like that for, man? I just can't. There's the quest. Alright, what do we got? Have you heard the latest? Back for seconds. With the rats killed, the Cobalt cleaning crew heads down to the cellar, but returns a moment later, slamming the door behind them. Peek down the stairs reveals the rodents have somehow been reanimated or reanimated as zombie rats. Yeah, we and we've seen this before. Okay. Uh, this quest requires combat skills to succeed. Grunson and Mergle should be able to handle it just fine. Uh, what's this one? Oh. Oh, tell me more. Ah, now we can choose. I have no social. We got some Brainiacs, though. Your drink menu leaves a lot to be desired. A bit of asking around yields three leads on potential new beverages for the tavern. This will give me... Scorpion shots. Social would give me... Uh, Death's Kiss. Drink called Death's Kiss. And Moonshine, yeah. This quest requires mind skills to succeed. Grunts and Mergle have the necessary skills. Yeah, it only, it only tells me this one. Um, Alright, I'm going to try this. What is this unlock? Feldar Spirits. Uh, Undermarket Merchant. Netherberry Moonshine. Sure. We'll do it. Okay. Netherberry Moonshine isn't legal in the legal sense. And is only sold by the Undermarket Merchant Feldspar Spirits, which teleports around to avoid attention from authorities. Grunson has a lead on where they may appear next. All right, good. And uh, let's see, I've got free camera. Whoa, 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 whoa. Free camera look on. Uh, I didn't mean to click on you, but sure, Murgle, you can have that. 85, sure. Can I get somebody over here? 55. Excellent. Hey, maximum service. Another quest. No, you're uh, welcome to Tullus Crampton. You're Catrice Grumbleborn. Welcome. Paladin by trade. Yeah, but I don't have any roster slots yet. But it doesn't take us much to, to level up to level two. All right, let's hit up this table. Mead. And we got an 85 over here. And 70. More maximum service. Tavern gained a level, level two. All right. So who wants to be hired? Nobody wants to be hired yet. We've got uh, four AP left. Um, let's hit you up. Monica Blake, new patron. First time visitor. You're indulgent and happy, serve item. 80% uh, right next to you is good. Mm, how about you over here? Uh, how about back to you? More maximum service. Yeah, they're buttering me up. This is gonna get harder later. Okay, now, um, Gabriella Smithies, you're new. Welcome to Tolis Cramped Inn. We're debating whether I could run through your wall if I got up enough speed. Any bets? You're a Night Stalker. You are, uh, combat and mind. And we really need survival, I think. Yeah, welcome. Uh, so you're new, but no, still nobody wants to be hired. What do you want? Aha, uh -huh, just passing through and thought I'd give this place a look. Monica Blake. You're an acrobat. Um, you have seven survival skills, eight in social. I need you, Monica. Okay? I need to hire you. Um, 
speak with the patron to unlock, but we're not there yet. Okay. So you want you want a beer. Serve. Uh Monica. And Grunton. Grunton. Dissatisfied customer. Polite though. Closing time. Out of actions. Okay, so I can't hear anybody. Let's go. Uh, no, we're not doing come back for my moonshine yet. We're gonna do back for seconds, level one. And you two are gonna join. That gives us an 89% chance. And we need 18 combat and 18 mind. Or that's what we have, sorry. And this only requires combat, so I think we should be good. Let's go forth. Don't screw it up. We gain inspired. A bard sends the heroes off with the rising rendition of the ballad, the adventuring party that didn't die horribly. <laughs> and so I guess this little thing means we've got a bonus from it. We've gained inspired. Red eyes glow menacingly in the darkness. Grunson looks a bit apprehensive as the zombie rats swarm forward. Okay. We only need nine points. We got 11 right there. We won it. 21. Excellent. Grunson gets a bit chewed up in the process, but the zombie rats fare no better against the heroes than they did while alive. Who would reanimate a bunch of tavern rats, Grunson wonders aloud. 35 XP, but Grunson has taken 10 hit points in damage. See, we went the whole trip without anything horrible happening, Merkel says, and promptly is promptly kicked in the head by a horse. When she eventually awakens, the fire mage has no memory of the incident. Merkel takes 9 HP. Wow, so they're both injured. Success. The wine cellar tavern upgrade is now available for purchase. This expansion to your tavern will allow you to carry more drinks. Right, because we cleared out the basement. Alright. Next day. And at 32 minutes, I'm going to wrap up the management here, put some new things on the menu, and that's going to be it. You successfully guided a group of adventurers to victory. Quest completed. I get a bouncing shield. I don't exactly know that. The boot? A leg and a boot. Sweet, man. Alright, we got uh, empty menu slots, so let's set the menu. Uh, we got mead, we got house wine now, and we have sparkling fairy water. We've got, uh, I did not order stale bread. I swear I didn't order stale bread. Did I really order stale bread? No, I just didn't order another food. Yeah, so we only have two things on the menu. Because we're a bar. Excuse me, we're a tavern. Uh, can you recover? You have no ailments, you just have hit point damage. Uh, dirty kitchen, repair for 20 gold. Who dirtied up the kitchen? And how's the business summary? Where our final profit is negative 339 gold. Everything's going to be fine, don't worry. Uh, we're whis whispered of and uh, we're gonna open the doors and then call it wine cellar new expansion available wine cellar is now available for purchase Manage expansions now if I don't click this button. I wonder how I get here 250 gold Stock up on three types of drinks Confirm purchase of the wine cellar you betcha All right Build blacksmith, build alchemy lab, build arcane study, wine cellar, kitchen, build brewery, distillery, garnish garden, stables. Nice. Complete the quest requirements. Complete the quest to upgrade your wine cellar, which we did. Or that's another one. Okay. So how do I manage facilities? Decor? Can't click on it yet. Coming soon. Reports? Uh, menu and stock, expansions, there we go. Ah, look, it's a little gear. This expansion has not yet been built. Kitchen. Stock up to XX types of food. I already have this, I think. Levels unlocked. Wine cellar. Level 2 must be this. Upgrade your wine cellar. Alright, cool. That's good. Tavern health. 
Facilities, expansions, menu and stock, service log, open for business, click to manage goods. That's cool. So this is the way you can get back in and out of these screens, but I can't do anything after I open up. I should have ordered more, but that's the way it goes. All right. So next time when we come back, we will continue excited to be back in Epic Tavern, even if we're only whispered up. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.